The battle for second place in the AFC East swings to South Beach where the Miami Dolphins take on the surging Buffalo Bills. Buffalo is 7-3 ATS in its last 10 meetings with the Finns, but Miami has been a solid bet at home this season, going 4-1 straight up and against the spread. Jason, what's your take on this line? Yeah, Miami open minus 6.5 if you can believe it. It's slimmed down to minus 5. Buffalo bringing two straight wins in here. Who knew? Yeah. Uh, Bills have scored 65 total points in those past two games. It took them six games to reach that <laughs> at the start of the season. Uh, this one looked long with the opener here, and the market is really correcting it. It's a rare mistake by odds makers, is what we're seeing. I really like the value with the over 40 and a half. Josh Allen is the better QB for the Bills, and Ryan Tannehill is the better QB for the Miami Dolphins here. I expect a little more offense than what this total is showing us, 40 and a half. Yeah, like you said, Ryan Tannehill came back, looks solid, good. Still though, Miami, they continue to kind of struggle in general, but they come up with the big plays. Uh, and that Bills defense, that's one thing they're very good at stopping, is those big plays. Got me thinking, maybe Buffalo is a decent team. They're fifth ranked defense by EPA, third in yards per play against. And like you said, Josh Allen is a playmaker. He's not a great passer, a little erratic, but he can make plays with his feet and seems to find a way. Uh, and with a defense that good, you don't need to be great. You look at EPA on the season, Miami is about three points per game better. That includes a lot of Nathan Peterman for the Bills, so I would I would mostly <laughs> ignore that. I think this I think this game could be a little closer. Burn those stats. <laughs>